I'm going to do both front and rear calipers. Very simple procedure, takes literally a few minutes. So first of all, what you would do is, you've got this pin here in the middle, so you're going to need an Allen key for that. Get that loosened. Once this is somewhat loose and you can turn it, there's going to be a pin over here at the back. So can you see this pin? Okay, get the pin out. Now simply get those two bolts out. Now simply remove the caliper. Then remove the pin completely. Okay, this will allow you to take this off. And uh, voila! That's your brake pads removed. Now reinstallation. And just remember, never operate your brake lever when the caliper is off the disc because you're going to push the pistons out and then you're screwed. Okay, so reinstallation. Just grab your brake pads like this. And remember that the securing pin is going to have to go through that hole here. So you put your pads in. Okay, there we go. Pads are in. Then you've got this metal cover which goes in like that. And then once again, securing pin going through the hole. Make sure it's going to go through both holes in both pads and also make sure it's going to push this uh, metal piece towards the pad. So let me just magnify for you. Hopefully you'll see what I'm doing here. Okay. There we go. Now just make a couple of turns. Pin goes through. Okay, and now we can just put the caliper back on. Now reinstall the bolts. And finally, just tighten the securing pin. And of course, let's not forget about that. Job done. This is how to change the brake pads on the front calipers on the RF900. Okay, so the rear caliper, also very simple procedure. First of all, remove those two bolts mounting the caliper um, to the yoke. Now turn the caliper upside down and as you can see there's this uh, metal plate securing the pads inside and there's two little screws, Allen screws, holding it um, in place. Now be extremely careful because those can be uh, very easily stripped so make sure you use very good quality tools. Okay in my case it's all nice and easy. There we go, at that point you can just take this off and you'll see your pads inside. Now time to remove the actual pads, as you can see you've got two more, um, call it screws, sitting inside the caliper's body. You're going to be using the same uh, size um, Allen key and again those can be easily stripped so if you suspect they're sitting tight be extremely careful. So that's what it looks like. So take both of them off. There we go. Second one removed as well. All right, once those two are out, uh, deep inside, let me magnify it. 
you will once again see there's been a, there's going to be a bolt which is an allen bolt so to remove it i'm going to use the allen bit and the and the ratchet Okay, so first bolt comes out. There we go. And the second one comes out too. Brilliant. And that way, you can remove the calipers by simply pushing them out. Brake pads, obviously, I meant. So have a look at the calipers, as you can see, uh, plenty of material left, so this indicator here in the middle okay, is going to show you how much material you've got left. If this is not visible, that means you've got no more material, but as you can see, this brake pad has plenty of life left in. Right, time to reinstall the pads. Uh, let's not forget that this little um, metal retainer has to sit on the pad like this and that's uh, on both pads it doesn't even matter which side you're doing it from okay they're both in now the bolts and obviously you're aiming to put it through the holes in the pads Screw it in. There we go, first one's in. And another one. So once again, let's just see if it's going through. Perfect alignment, fantastic. Let's screw it in lightly. Now, don't be really hard with securing those because then in the future you might have a problem with removing it. So, as long as they're just gently snug, that's all you need for that. Now, of course, we're putting those on. Excellent. Okay, let's put the metal plate back on. So as you can see on the caliper, there's going to be this, there's going to be this little lip here. And now what you've got to do is you need to slot that lip into that part of the metal plate. So pretty simple. Goes over like this. Squeeze it. And put the little screws back on. First one. And second one. Okay, get it nice and snug. That's first. That's second. And now we're pretty much done. All you've got to do is put the caliper back on the disc. Now the caliper mounting bolts. Okay, and don't forget to use the specified Torx for the mounting bolts. This is going to be shown just at the bottom of the screen. And folks, that is it. Brake calibers change for front and rear on RF900. Super mega simple. Thanks for watching. Till next time.